Hey, hey, <coughs> welcome to the last episode. Uh, uh, in this episode, I'm going to show you the last preps for the roof for the winter. Yeah, this time it will be the last one. Uh, I'm going to fold down the overhangs and glue them and I'm going to nail them down so that the wind doesn't get uh, beneath them. I got some cold, so yeah, I'm not in the best mood, but you have to do the work. There's no going back. So stay tuned and have fun. part is done uh, the next part is to put uh, down where the wood is uh, visible I'll put to down the bitumen uh, adhesive on top of the, uh, it so it's kind of bit weatherproofing uh, the wood for the winter uh, it's not necessary neither but uh, yeah I have time and the Sun is still up so why not uh, uh, you may ask what's the temperature right now outside, so it's uh, 6 degrees, you can calculate that into Fahrenheit, but yeah, it's 6 degrees outside and it's cold, but it's not windy this time, so on to the last parts! The sun is still up and I wanted to take off the uh, walking uh, planks that I put down but the roof is so slippery that uh, my health is worth more than making it today but uh, I'm going to uh, in the next video if there are some days that are without rain sunny the roof is dry it's dry right now, it was wet in the morning, but uh, now it's dried up, but it's still uh, quite slippery, so I have to hope for some days that are some uh, 
sequence, the sunny days with wind and so that it dries up and I can take off the walking planks. Then I'm going to roll on a second layer of adhesive. Uh, it will, uh, it's not quite adhesive, it's a uh, uh, liquid, uh, uh, what's it called? Maybe bitumen? Yeah, yeah, it's bitumen. So, liquid bitumen, and I will add, uh, add that. Uh, the liquid bitumen will also fill all the screw holes that I did. Uh, there are a couple of ways to do it. Uh, one is to heat up the spot where the screw was and uh, apply a uh, force so it will also seal it but I'm going to use uh, liquid uh, adhesive uh, so I'll roll up all the roof and that will give me an extra la layer of protection and that's it for this year so now to hope for some sunny days and then I can move on ah yeah I'm so happy So, I had a problem as I couldn't record anything. I tried like five to six times and I couldn't figure out what the heck is wrong with my phone. Mm. First, I thought that uh, okay, maybe some background application uh, is the problem. Uh, okay, I closed all the apps, I got uh, rid of around maybe freed around eight to ten gigs of memory. Nope, still no problem. Then I thought about maybe it's the cold. Yeah. Uh, still didn't get the, the footage. It's like recording, everything's fine. I go back, it's not recording. Uh, I have done a lot in the meantime. Uh, almost took uh, the first part off and this part and I left the last screw to show you. Uh, maybe the fi fifth time uh, how to tighten the holes uh, later on so they are watertight and after like the whole day I figured it out I ran out of memory uh, hard drive space uh, my PC is full like I have 500 gigs of video to work uh, my phone is full, uh, 200 gigs of videos uh, to edit, mm. but uh, I got like 6 gigs of free memory and this video, yes, yeah, the recording, uh, I'll show you this <laughs> part. Uh, I don't know what, what the footage I got, what not, but uh, uh, one cool thing I found is uh, yesterday was the uh, NASA image of the uh, sky, it's the uh, Hubble telescope uh, legacy photo, it's amazing, if you haven't seen it, go look at it, it's like wow! Uh, the smaller ones are easy to open on the phone, but the larger ones are like really high res, so I li uh, link the image location in the description so you can look it, at it. But for now, I'll show you how to how I fix the ho uh, screw holes in my roof. Uh, no. Uh, here's the hole. Uh, not right. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, somewhat centered. Okay. First thing is to unscrew the old. As you can see, 
it's already quite dirty, so clean up. Make some adhesive. Fill the hole with adhesive. And yes, I did this for all the holes. Okay. Next is to heat up the surrounding. Now the hole is filled and just for any case add the adhesive on top. Now the hole is sealed and I'm not worrying anymore that anything will drop in. And for this short video I had to take like I don't know how many takes and as you can see here were the planks and here's the final roof uh, this isn't the final final roof but uh, as the how can I say it uh, as the uh, rigid foam insulation will go on top of that and I have to build a second roof on that one also so I will this house will have like like let's say double uh, 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 roofs uh, I could have used uh, the standard way of going with uh, 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 some kind of uh, similar to the plastic insulation but it's uh, uh, some kind of porous material that uh, is in the roll and it goes on top but uh, I wanted to do my own way that's more re uh, reliable in the long run because uh, this will, will last me years in the sun and in the weather but uh, prefabricated material last maximum one uh, season and after that the t uh, sun UV rays will kill it but yeah now to cleaning up my mess and uh, for the next video those are leftovers, leftovers, leftovers. Those are six meters, around 2.5. Uh, those are, yeah, also leftovers. Already sold them because uh, when the new air comes, I just want to use new uh, materials. But yeah, now for the boring part, I'm going to clean. So. Stay safe, stay healthy, and don't get uh, caught in the COVID pandemic. See ya!